the transfer window has finally come to an end and with it we've seen some amazing transfers for some of our Canadian men's national team players. We've seen Kyle Lahren sign with Club Bruges, Richie Larea return back to TFC, Stefan Ustachio made his loan move permanent and signed until 2027 with FC Porto. But there's also a big move that did not happen. In the final hours of the transfer window, it was rumored that Ismail Kone was going to join up with Sheffield United and the deal eventually broke down. So let's go through why that move happened and why it could potentially happen in January. On deadline day, Fabrizio Romano put some of us Canadian men's national team supporters into a frenzy when he talked about Ismail Kone going to Sheffield United because Sander Berga was going to Club Bruges. Now this is fantastic news for Ismail Kone, he's probably the most highly sought after Canadian men's national team player out there, he's had an incredible time with CF Montreal, he's broken into our national team and it looked like his future was going to be in the championship. And even earlier in the summer, he was linked to a move to Norwich City. That move eventually broke down. Personal terms seemed to be the issue there. Kind of relaxed on the transfer aspect of things. And then things came to life here and it looked almost certain that a deal was going to happen. Manuel Veth, friend of the channel, had this to tweet as well. Canadian's national team news on deadline day. CF Montreal's Ismail Kone is set to join championship side Sheffield United. The MLS side could receive up to $5.7 million dollars for the highly talented Canadian midfielder, deal now well advanced details to follow on transfer marked. This deal looked like it was done and dusted, so what happened? Why did this move not actually go through? Well, it all came down to Sander Berga, and this is the interesting thing because with CF Montreal, they've already seen one of their best players in Jordi Mihailovic join up and head to the Air Divisi, but it was on a permanent deal and he was loaned back, so CF Montreal will still have Jordi for the upcoming MLS playoffs, which is huge for them. From what I've been reading and what I've been hearing, it seemed that Ismail Kone was going to join Sheffield United immediately because he was a direct replacement for Sander Berga. And this is massive for a few different reasons because if he went to Norwich City, it didn't really look like there was an opportunity for him to break into the team. More than likely, he would have actually been loaned back to CF Montreal. But this shows just how highly sought after this young kid is because he was going to basically step into this midfield for Sheffield United, a team that is going to be competing for promotion and right now looks like they have an opportunity to do so. He was going to be basically that like for like because Sander Berga is a massive player. He's been basically interested in a lot of Premier League sides. Club Rouge is the big club that's interested in him and especially a link that's been going on for years now was Napoli. So this is a player with a ton of quality that is going to still maybe leave the club because Club Bruce still could potentially sign him, but right now Ismail Kone to Sheffield United may not happen until January. And that's where things get interesting. Paul Heckingbottom had this to say on Ismail Kone. He fit the profile players with potential and with attributes which could go to another level. Plus we can improve. We were up front with the MLS plus Montreal. He'd have to be one who stays in the mind of the January transfer window. So these rumors will not go away anytime soon. Ismail Kone definitely has an opportunity to go to the championship and it makes things very interesting right now because if he would have joined because Berger left, he looked like he would have jumped into that starting 11, which would have been ideal. I would like the idea of Ismail Kone joining at the beginning of the season and for a direct replacement. If he would have joined this side and Berger didn't leave, he probably would have been on the outside looking in and would have used his time as more as an adaption to the league. But if Berga actually left and Ismail Kone was his direct replacement, he would have been heading into this starting 11 and had the opportunity to really grow as a player. This is a lost opportunity, unfortunately, because a deal with Sander Berga did not go down. However, if there's a way to look at the bright side of things is that the World Cup is coming up, CF Montreal are still in the playoffs and Ismail Kone is a massive player for that side. He could go in for a big MLS end to the season, hopefully lead CF Montreal to a deep playoff run, go into the World Cup, maybe shine, maybe not, we'll have to wait and see, but regardless, a World Cup, if Ismail Kone is on that roster, is not going to hurt his stock. Then come January, depending on what happens with Sander Berga, an opportunity could still be there. It's being stated right now that he's still being targeted and still an option for Sheffield United, and it's almost inevitable that he's going to move to the championship. It's just which club? In the next few months, what happens the MLS and the World Cup? Could that change? Regardless, it looks like Sander Berger could still move now or at least in January as well. So the opportunity for Esmel Kone to head to Europe is very, very likely. I would really like to see it happen now just because we've seen January transfer basically be a disaster. Richie Larea comes to mind. Stephanie Stacchio is still not very convincing because the minutes weren't there. This was an opportunity that would have been a dream for him because of the opportunity to jump right in that starting 11. But regardless, 
I can't wait to see what happens in the near future. And it would have been very interesting because this transfer value, although it seems kind of low, could go a little bit higher depending on what happens. But this is what it would have been. A tweet from our colleague at One Soccer, Oliver Platt. Platt states that if reports are accurate, Ismail Kone is likely the fifth most expensive Canadian transfer ever. Some rise for a player who only made his pro debut in February, still raw and would benefit from finishing the year in Montreal, in my opinion, but huge potential. It's an interesting take from Oliver and I kind of agree, but in my opinion, because of the situation where Kone could have went to the championship and likely became a starter, I think this was unfortunately just a big missed opportunity. It could still work out in his favor down the line. I don't disagree with that, but because I'm very wary about January transfers, I would have really liked to see it happen now. But guys, let me know down in the comments what you think. Do you think he should have made the move now? I mean, kind of went out of his hands with the Berga transfer falling apart, but would you have preferred him to move now? Or do you like the opportunity for him to impress in the MLS playoffs, to impress potentially in the World Cup and then making a move in January to Sheffield United or maybe even a bigger club in a different league or in the Premier League? Let me know, it's an interesting one. I do still hope that this move to Sheffield United works out. They play a system where it gives them opportunity in that three-man midfield. Can't wait to see what happens for Ismail Kone. For sure, the opportunity there to move to Europe will probably happen in January, guys. So let me know down in the comments below. As always, be sure to drop a like, drop a sub, as always. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Cheers, friends.